Alrighty YouTube, welcome to my journey to mastery where I'm trying to record myself doing 10,000 hours. Um, it's been a while since the last video because I moved, changed locales, changed locations. Um, I got my own apartment and everything. So anyway, enough pretext. Right now I am working on making an RPG. Why an RPG? Because I've always had the dream of making video game music and I currently know nobody making a video game. So I decided to make one myself using RPG Maker um, back when I was in like high school, middle school, you know, um, if you've ever had to get those graphing calculators, well, we never used them in class, so I decided to use them to program in a uh, RPG. It calculated the HP and the MP, and it calculated stuff for the battles, and it was pretty, pretty in-depth, so I decided to combine those two passions and see where it leads me. Here's a quick clip of the beginning of it. And you can find the full version. It's called Apex Demo Concept, Concept Demo. But it's on my channel, so if you're really interested, you can see the whole five-minute version there. Right now, I'm just making music for it. I don't really know what it's gonna really sound like. All I know is that it's going to be in the RPG. <laughs> so right now, I'm building up the synth, starting with the lead little synth. First thing I started with Reasons Radical Keys. And then from here, I'm probably not going to explain too much. I'm probably just going to get into my work because 10,000 hours is hard enough trying to explain every single thing I do. So, yeah, you'll get to hear me talk to myself, which is always fun to hear someone being crazy while they're alone. So, yeah, here we go. Let's see. Central Mellow. So maybe a little drift. Velocity response. Maybe curve it a little downward. No chorus. Let's see what the phaser does. Alright, probably won't put any ambiance on it just yet. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna save that for later. <laughs> mm. Random key. Mm. Let's see. Now, what should I add next? I probably should add some pure tones, some square waves. I love square waves. Square waves are fun. I might use something simple. I might try it with the subtractor. Move that down some so I don't blow the ears out of everybody. Nah, I don't hear it. Maybe move it up an octave. I'm liking that. Okay, then maybe subtract a. Was that sawtooth? I'll just put another square wave and offset its face, see what that does. I like that sound. Use a kind of an organy sound. I like that. I like that. I'll mess with that. Hmm. Maybe throw an LFO on it. Let's see. Oh yeah, let's see. 
on both oscillators, see what that sounds like. Pretty slow, maybe a little faster. Ooh, ooh, I'm liking where that's going. I'm liking where that's going. It has kind of a creepy, sithy sound. Alrighty. Well, no, maybe I should mess with the envelopes a little bit. Let's see. Give it a little bit of release. Put the sustain equal to that. Have the filters kind of mimic that slightly. The filter envelope mimic that a little bit. Oh yeah, perfect. Hmm. I think that might be all I'll do to this instrument. Save that for now. All right. Libraries, Reason, Music of Spheres, Simple Instruments, Third Iteration. Old and like. Keep the name simple. Try not to. Let's see. Next, I'll probably throw a Thor in there. I'm a big fan of Thor. It's my favorite one. It's the most in depth synth in this whole program. Probably tone that down some. Cool. Put some pulse waves in there. Analog. Pulse wave in that direction. Pulse wave in that direction. And analog pulse wave. Kind of close to the middle, but more to the right. Put some chorus on it. Put a slight delay on this one. Probably a little attack on that. Still comes in a little later. And have this pulse. Oh, that's not even on the pulse. No wonder they're not going to pulse wave setting. Okay, I like that. Gives a little space. Hmm. Let's see. Make sure there's velocity setting to it. Amp gain down. Um, almost did. Forgot to put some on that. Perfect. So that way it gives a little bit more life. Hmm. I like the way that filter is set. Change the this a bit. Make it look kind of similar to that one. A little bit of modulation. Okay. Okay, well, what else should I set up? Mm, should set up maybe a little bit for the mod filter. Let's get it up. Let's see, I'm gonna put an LFO one. Put in, put also to the pitch. Better yet, I think I should use this one where it has two sources. That would probably be best. So LFO one to the oscillator. One, oscillator, two. And I think I'll have a scale up to the mod, to the mod wheel. Let's see. Okay, no mod wheel. Yes, mod wheel. Oh, well, let me solo that out. Hmm. Maybe I gotta put a little bit on there naturally. Uh, 
Maybe turn it down just a little bit. Cool. It's not a mod wheel. We can add some LFO to the pitches of those of the first two oscillators. Let's see who's next. Mm -hmm. I guess nothing for now. I guess for now I'll just create a basic melody before I add more layers. Normally I do not use the keyboard, which is the same now. I usually just use the keyboard to test my sense, to be honest. I like to do things by hand. I like to get in and dirty. Alright, let me see if I can go to the blocks. Name this one. The basic melody, something for me to start with. I usually use F as the starting key, so I might switch it up. We're gonna go with maybe A sharp minor, because I like A minor, so we'll go with A sharp minor. So it gets us. Hmm, switch the tempo. We'll see. Seems like a fair, fair tempo. Let me see. See the sound. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, I like that low cadence. Let's see. that now I'm going to let's see individualize the notes by let's see first thing is I'm going to turn that down by changing velocities so every other beat every down beat turn it down a little bit Start giving those little random velocities to make it more human so it doesn't sound so um, computerized. I could have played this on the keyboard, but I prefer not to. 
I like doing it by hand because then I'm able to get a closer understanding of music. I don't really know how to describe it. Okay. All right. Make sure the links are not even. A little longer. Let's see, nudge these a little bit off. So they all don't start exactly when the beat starts. They start a little bit later. So that way they have a little more human element because every because every note that we hit doesn't start like a quantized like a robot or something that's just kind of weird every note is usually unique so that's what I'm doing here I'm making every note unique it doesn't start exactly on the same like on the quantized thing because no one's perfect no one knows how to hit you know quarter notes perfect every time so I try to have my music reflect this Let's see. second part of the phrase that longer all right cool now I'm gonna have some accompanying chords spruce it up a bit Let's see a sharper it's a not a sharp goes okay all right change those lengths a bit before I put too many not position length kind of anticipates that slightly then it kind of does that one slightly late so that's a little bit less down is a little bit less these two have a little bit less. That one's not perfect, so I'll put a little less. Let's see. Cool. Cool.
I like how that sounds. I'm feeling how that sounds. Let's see, I could probably add some more layers on it and see what it does. I'm probably gonna add some real instruments now. Probably might add another one of those radical keys to kind of keep up with that um organy type sound. I think that's the official term for it. Let's see. Let's see. So now to add more raw synths to layer over it and to, for solos and such. Probably shouldn't use a Thor for what I'm about to do. I probably I probably could just use some subtractors. Keep it simple. Two subtractors panned a little bit outward. These subtractors will be triangle waves. Let's see. Okay, cool. I think I have a good start for my baseline, so I will copy that, paste that into the baseline. Then I'm gonna make a bass sound. I'm gonna make it from some raw tones. Let's see, mixer, six mixer. I probably don't need that many instruments for this. All right, and tone that down to octave. View square wave. <laughs>
second. I'm missing a bus. Why am I missing a bus? My low end bus, what happened to it? I know I didn't delete it, did I? I hope not. Ah, crap, I deleted it. Mm. Let's see, double check. Paste. Let me make sure they're all parallel together. Cause I knew something was weird. Cause I'm like, it's missing something. Crud. Now I gotta figure out how to parallel these together manually. Parallel goes in. Parallel for that one goes into that one's in, which goes into this one's in. Okay, cool. Which then goes into that one. Cool. All right. There we go. I was wondering what happened. See how this goes. but it still has that thick bassy sound. Let's see. I might see what throwing an amp or some effects on it might do. Basic eight bar phrase going on. Maybe I should get some drums going on. That sounds about right. Get some drums going in. Let's see what drums I have. I really don't explore my drums often. Let's see what I got going on. Let's see. Music of the Spears. Let's go out one. Not my refills. Give me some new kicks. I like some techno y type kicks. snares okay
try another one, let's see. Interesting. Let's see. Oops. Forgot I can't do it that way. I gotta I forgot I gotta do that. I guess I need to upgrade my template. Let's see. levels are compared let's see non drums going there
see. Gotta figure out what's next to do though. Hmm. Let's see what inspiration says. I probably might start this next one off with some strings as the base for the pads and then put some synths over top of it. See how I feel in a second. Let's see. Let's see. Blocks. How do I draw blocks? Okay.
Oh, that's not good either. The pad bus is missing. No wonder they sound so loud. Let's see. This is gonna suck. Let's see. I wonder when did I delete those buses? It had to be by accident. Oh well, good thing I have the template up over here. Oh, pads bus. I'm gonna have to rewatch that footage and see when the buses disappeared, cause that's messing me up big time. Paste. Goes into the non drums bus. Pads bus, cool. There we go. That sounds a lot better.
might use that as a cave theme. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see how I feel as time comes along. That was epic fail. Cave theme. Let me save it. Well, it's one o'clock in the morning, so I can't expect a masterpiece this time of day. We'll see. I might keep that for later. If not, whatever. That's an hour to my 10,000 hours. So I hope that helped you guys get an idea of my workflow, I guess.